crunch time. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Isaiah 59:19. It had been a rough game, but it was going to end. My favorite team was down by several points and it was crunch time. Then they came charging down the court full of fire and made a good play. A player received the ball, whirled around, and made a 40-foot three-point basket. The teams were tied when the buzzer went off, and the game would go into overtime. This game had gone back and forth. Fouls had been called, some unfairly from my perspective, and more than once it had seemed the team would not recover. Then they would go into a huddle during a timeout, and come back revived, inspired, and encouraged to fight. They would just not give up. They were determined to win. Life sometimes brings obstacles that seem insurmountable. The enemy throws one foul after another, and it seems you are surrounded by turmoil. There is no apparent answer or way out. However, we must remember the game is not over. We are still in the battle, and God is not finished yet. The last prayer has not been prayed. The last hymn has not been sung. If you feel like you are in a crunch time spiritually, take a time out with God. Get in a huddle with a few prayer warriors and be revived by the word of God. Grab a few of those precious promises and claim them. Remember, you have a captain who has never lost a battle, and he is not about to start losing now. We are promised that when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. It may appear for a time that the game is not going your way, but God is in control at all times. With him on your side, you have nothing to fear. As Christians, we must never give up. Follow the captain's instructions and give it your very best. When the last trumpet sounds, we will all shout, Victory! And then, and only then, will the game be over.